Hey, good morning, friends. We have another fun show ready for you. Today on Any Now, we're going to introduce you to local artist Kiera Reddy and ask her what it's like to be a live wedding painter and how you can book her to capture your next event on canvas. So much fun. Plus, we'll get a taste of some of the best charcuterie in the Midwest. The owners of Pigstail Charcuterie are here with some of their high quality meats and they want to create an amazing spread for your next party. And we'll hear some live local music from Chris Wolf and a couple of talented musician friends and meet the visual artist behind Chris's most recent music video. Indie, Indie Now starts now. now. This is Indy Now. Ooh. Kerrigan, producer Kerrigan in the house. What's cracking? What's popping? Because our friend Jillian is down there in Jamaica. I know. Um, big She's stuff. living her best life. Just, we're very jealous because, listen, yeah. Indy's been beautiful the past couple of days. It has. Spring is finally springing. But <laughs> spring has sprung. If it's if my choice is Indy or, or Jamaica, Jamaica, I'd probably um, enjoy Jamaica. I feel yeah. like, yeah, I feel like that's a fair bet yeah, to make. I, I love just want to, you know, toes in the sand. Oh, come on. Some sun. Yeah. Maybe get a little tan. Maybe a little beverage. Not me. I would, yeah. I'm the guy in the shade with like towels, SPF 1000, yeah. umbrella, hat, everything. See, I should do that. Yeah. <laughs> I do not. I allow myself to get just a little toasty. Right. I was not built for the sun. Like our Irish, Scottish heritage, it's not, it's not conducive to a nice glow. Yeah. yeah. You know, I can... I can respect that. Can I tell you a story? So yesterday, <laughs> I'd love you to. Yesterday, our family went to Birdie's up in Westfield. Um, Shout really, out. really fun spot. Mini golf, great food, and um, we're sitting outside, and I'm like feeling the sun just <laughs> nailing my arm. Right? Of course, yeah. And I'm like, hey, are you guys comfortable? And Lauren's like, oh, I'm loving this. I, I feel like, great. Oh gosh, I was like, uh, can we, can we move <laughs> inside? So we, like, you had to move inside. Yeah, yeah. Our server was great. Shayna was awesome. She was very kind about it. But I was like. We gotta move. <laughs> I'm getting a little hot. So no, anyway. that's fine. Well, speaking yeah. of hot, oh, we nice. have a hot giveaway. Good segue, Kerrigan. Thank you. Yeah. You guys can enter to win a family four pack of tickets to Jurassic Quest. It is the world's largest, most popular dinosaur event, and it's taking place <laughs> at the State Fairgrounds. I laugh every time the music plays. It's great. It's April 14th through the 16th. This includes two adult tickets and two kids unlimited ride tickets, and it's valued at 145 per pack. All you have to do to enter to win is email IndyNowGiveaway at Fox59.com right now. Put in the subject line Jurassic Quest and also tell Ryan how great his hair looks today. Oh, I think yes. Shout out to <laughs> D.L. Lowry Salon for uh, Look at those. fading me up. Man, those are some terrifying uh, animatronic creatures. They... <laughs> hey, let's go meet our first Yeah, let's do we? that. Cause... Let's go do it. Oh, we always like to start things off. Oh! Oh, the good news! Yeah, we do. We're there we just go. going right on in today. <laughs> well, our first guest, Kira Reddy, is a local artist, and she's the owner of Free Mind Creations. Hi! She specializes in live wedding painting, and she's teaching us how she does it today. Hi, Kira. Welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. We're happy Welcome. to have you. Yeah, congrats on all your success. We're excited to hear about it. So talk to us about what it's like to be a live event and wedding painter. Man, it's really one of the best jobs in the world. It's like a dream job for me. Um, I've been an artist for the last five years, and recently I found out that painting in front of people was more fun than painting yeah. in my studio. Yeah. So um, I kind of got into painting at galas and mm -hmm. fundraisers, and last year I had a few friends get married, um, and they asked me to paint at their wedding. That's beautiful. That's I love awesome. it. awesome. These are beautiful. Yeah. What's your favorite part of what you do? I know you said you like being now painting in front of people. I would be nervous. <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite part is just how fast I can do it and how fast I can get it done. When I'm in the studio, sometimes I'm locked in there by myself for like hours and days. But oh, man. when I go to weddings and events, I start at the beginning of the event. And by the time the event is over, I'm ready to give them their masterpiece and head home and go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I could only imagine, like some weddings are super short, others are long. So going into it, not knowing exactly how much time you're gonna have, I would be really, really nervous. Cause like that. here, you know you have an hour. Yeah. You know, 10 to 11, this is what I have to do. I feel like with weddings, it's kind of a, it's a little up in the air. Yeah, yeah I mean, I've gone to enough weddings that I kind of know the flow of how everything goes. And typically I'm the first person there. 
Um, so it's That's usually great. like an eight hour work day, just like any other yeah, job. Yeah. You know, wedding ceremonies start at like 11 and then the after party goes to like midnight. So, so fun. I have enough time to get a day. That's great. Well, we're going to be checking in with Kira throughout the show. Uh, if people want to follow you on social media, where should they go? Yes, you can follow my Instagram at freemind.eventpainting. Um, and then on Facebook at Free Mind Creation. Awesome. Give her awesome. a follow and we'll be checking in on the work that she's creating. Yeah, I can't wait to show. see what this turns yeah. into. Thanks, Kira. Yeah, thank, thank you. All right. Is it time for some local charcuterie? I thought you'd never ask. Oh, yeah. well, I'm asking. This Let's is, do it. Uh, one of the parts of our job that is just the best. We get to uh, introduce you to some local small businesses known for their delicious food. And uh, the owners of Pig's Tail Charcuterie are here. Hi, we have guys. Troy and Wendy Hi. Reed. Uh, with a great spread. Welcome, guys. How you doing? Hi. We're doing great. We're Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Tell us about Pig's Tail. How did you get started? Uh, doing charcuterie was a hobby of mine okay. uh, for quite some time. Um, fortunately, we were able to turn it into a business. Uh, that started in 2019, in the middle of 2019. So 2020 oh, wow. came just <laughs> after that. Perfect yeah. timing. Yeah. Yeah, Always. That's exactly right. So we made it through all of that, and, uh, and here we are. That's great. Uh, Wendy, what did you bring with you today? I just brought some of our items. I thought you'd put a charcuterie board together with me. Heck yeah, got let's some, do uh, it. All right, got yeah. some gloves here for you. Perfect. And Heard. as we're awesome. assembling, oh. uh, Troy can kind of talk <laughs> through. <laughs> Why do we always? <laughs> those are, those are jammed the in there. Well, I saw a recent segment and you had tiny gloves, so yeah. I hope I brought the right size for <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay. <laughs> I got some. Okay. So all the right. great thing about our products and our charcuterie boards, my husband makes all the meat, so that's what makes us okay. a bit different than everyone cool. else. Okay. And the pork is local. And, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the intent was to recreate Italian style, Italian style salamis, European style salamis, okay. uh, which is a slow fermented salami at, uh, at low temperatures. It's, it's got a uh, much sweeter flavor. Um, yeah. Than what American salamis do, they have <laughs> that kind of sour, sour yeah, taste right. like pepperoni, right? Yeah. Um, so we use a lot of spices that come from Italy, but again, like Wendy said, the uh, pork is all from Indiana. Nice. I love that it's locally sourced, yeah. so you know That's, it's going to yeah. taste fresh and delicious. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, Wendy, what's all right, the secret? We got here? the gloves. We We're going, going with Pinocchiona first. All right, go. Yep. So okay. Pinocchiona, uh, again, that's fennel seed, fennel pollen, and um, okay, that comes so from Tuscany. Okay. Uh, the recipe is very true Italian. Nice. What's what comes from the passion, or where does the passion for Italy come from for you? Uh, well, I could go all the way back to maybe college when I took Italian. Uh, <laughs> nice. In, in Italy. Okay. Uh, or in, in at Purdue. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, just yeah. all 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 things Italian. Yeah. Um, I had mm. there was a restaurant up in South Bend, Mishawaka, when I was growing up. It was fantastic, and uh, that's where I wanted to learn how to cook the way they were okay, cool. they were making food. I love that native Hoosier. Just yes. in, um, just enamored by all things Italian. Man, this is Absolutely. delicious too. Yeah, I'm happy that you're just eating while I'm putting it. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of work for you right now, Brian. So Wendy's putting down copa now. This is the collar of the pig. This is about a uh, 100. The, the collar of the pig. Oh, I thought you said it's the power of the pig. The and I was like, it's okay. the power of the pig too. Power I mean, we can say that too. <laughs> Uh, it takes 100 days to age this one right here. Wow. Oh, goodness. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, it, it, and, and the salami itself takes at least a minimum of 60 days. So, uh, these aren't products that you can make in just a few days. Right. So, through that process, um, you know, we come up with the recipe, we work at it. Uh, then you have to wait several months to find out how, how good was this, what do you have to change, things like that. Oh gosh, the spices in here are so tasty. And you really do test that fresh, taste the freshness yeah. of the meat. The fact that it is local, uh, it has so much flavor to it. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the third one that we're putting So we've on? got uh, cacciatore, which okay. is coriander and nutmeg. Coriander. Fall type spices, very yes. unique, but true to um, Italian style salami. Okay. The word cacciatore means the hunter in Italian. And so yeah. uh, Italian hunters would go out in the fall um, to hunt pheasants, yeah. and uh, those are the spices that resemble th that time of year. Nice. Where can people find you and order from you? Uh, we are. Pigstail, yeah, pigstail.com. We have a website. We have a storefront on 65th Street. Okay. Um, There's a charcuterie board order form on our website. You can yep. go there. Um, you can also find us at Farmers Markets. We are at Farmers Markets all summer long. Carmel, Noblesville, Fishers, Westfield, and Broad Ripple. Love it. So for a You're party or a big corporate event, whatever you, whatever people we, need, you can do it. We do two people up to 100, even more than 100. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You cool. can find us on Market Wagon as well. 
Okay. And then we're on Instagram at pigstail.com. That's where I, I found it. you guys. And Facebook. Yes, well, go follow, go support, and shop local Pigstail Charcuterie. It's absolutely delicious. Great job, Kerrigan. Thank you. You know, I might have Very a good. I might have a new calling. Yeah, and, and I'll train I'll call you when I need some help. Yes, you I'm your backup. There it is. Awesome. Put me in, Coach. Yeah, thanks so much for being here, guys, and absolutely. best wishes as the business grows. We know you're going to get some orders today. Thank, Thank you. Really yeah, you bet. Thanks, thanks a lot. Guys. Well, coming up next, our friend Lee Markham from Jack's Donuts is here to tell us about two new store locations that you can check out. Oh yeah, we'll be right back. You don't want to miss the fun. He'll probably say something weird. We're talking about you.